Hello viewers, got a little fun video here for you you might find interesting. I'm sure you've seen this truck before, it's the little Ford Ranger, and it's developed a squeak. And the funny part is it developed the squeak after I put a brand new belt on it because the old belt was starting to crack. So let me show you what I found on this truck. So it's nice and quiet now, but as you'll see later on in the video, when the engine warms up and the belt starts to get warm, the thing starts to squeak. So here's what I found when I looked closer at this belt. Up top here is the idler pulley. You'll notice how the wear pattern on this pulley is in the, more like in the center of the pulley itself. You take a look at where the belt is lining up on the pulley there and you can see it's kind of in the middle. So we know that that pulley is probably okay. However, take a look further down at the tensioner there. Look how the belt is riding on the tensioner. It's right on the very edge. Right down in here, this crack that you're seeing is the tensioner itself. You can see how it's pulled out on one end and squeezed tight on the other. That's because the tensioner is failing internally and needs to be replaced. So what's happening here is the belt is skidding, so to speak, on the idler pulley. The belt is straight here, and the tensioner pulley is at an angle. So while this belt is riding on the tensioner pulley, it's actually skidding because the tensioner is trying to push it off to the side, but the belt wants to stay in a straight line to go around the rest of the pulleys in the drive belt system. And as you can see, now that the engine has warmed up, we're now getting a very loud, consistent squeak coming from the drive belt. Now here's a moment of truth. As you can see I've got a 15 millimeter socket on a 3 quarter inch ratchet attached to the tensioner. Watch what happens when I pry down to release the tensioner. You'll see the whole tensioner move. The old tensioner had failed, that's for sure. Even when you spin the pulley you can hear the bearings have dried out and there's just, there, this pulley just needed to be replaced. Now as you can see in the instructions here, they wanted to make very clear that if you had an application which required the 10 millimeter socket head or a tapered head version, you have to use these enclosed bolts because otherwise immediate, look at that, immediate tensioner failure will result. The bolt on this one was an 8 millimeter. It's a new tensioner. You can see the belt is riding much more evenly on the pulley. So now, moment of truth. The engine is still warm. It's cooled down a little bit, but the tensioner and the belt drive components are still hot. So let's start it up and see if our squeak problem has been resolved. And as you can see, the belt's riding in the middle of the pulley now, and there's no more squeaking. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If it helped, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Guys, I got a, a lot of things going on here. Things are going to change on the channel. Things are going to change in my life. And I'll, uh, I'll have a video telling you guys what's going on, what I plan on doing. Um, I'm not going away. I'm going to be here on YouTube. Maybe not quite as active as I've been in the past, just because things are going to get really busy here for me over the next few months, but I will stay in touch with you all. Thank you guys so very much for the support. 63,000 subscribers, I, I never would have dreamed that. And thank, I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing and liking the videos. And I really do hope that these videos have been a help to you guys. I hope that you enjoy them and they're able to help you out with your mechanical issues. Especially those who aren't subscribed. Somebody stumbles across the video, it might help them out. So thank you guys very much for subscribing, watching, liking, and sharing. I appreciate it very much. I hope this video helps and you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.